The roads around the Yellowstone National Park are somewhat unsurprisingly melting. I say unsurprisingly because at this site, underneath the ground, lies a batholithic magma chamber that's released wave after wave of supervolcanic scale eruptions, with some of the largest volcanic eruptions ever released on Earth being associated with this magmatic hotspot. And yep, as a result of the many effects that this magma chamber has on the surrounding land, one of them is a melting of the roads. And that's what this video is all about. The hotspot responsible for the Yellowstone supervolcano had originally been located underneath the Pacific Ocean. But as the North American tectonic plate drifted further and further west, it eventually passed over this magmatic hotspot sparking a wave of supervolcanic eruptions that would consist of dozens upon dozens of calderas existing in present day, dotted from the southwest and slowly moving all the way to where the Yellowstone hotspot is located in present day. It would reshape the land dramatically each time these supervolcano eruption events occurred, leaving behind massive calderas in present day. These supervolcanic eruptions were so frequent they overlap each other, making the ability to count them all almost impossible because there are so many that have taken place. The most recent and youngest supervolcanic eruption is the one that is underneath Yellowstone National Park in present day, and this is where our story begins. As most people know, Yellowstone has a remarkable amount of hydrothermal activity that is taking place in present day. Water that was released by past rains slowly seeps into the ground until it reaches the bedrock underlying Yellowstone, where it then becomes superheated by Yellowstone's batholithic magma chamber. When this happens, the hot water rises back to the surface, unimpeded due to the open plumbing system that exists here, with the highly fractured ground allowing vast amounts of water to circulate around, due to the shattered nature of it from past supervolcanic eruptions that occurred here. Convection currents circulate the hot water so it never gets hot enough to flash to steam and to trigger a phreatic volcanic eruption. But what does this have to do with the roads at Yellowstone? Well, everything. Yellowstone's land is basically the worst place on Earth to lay asphalt. Let me be clear and just firstly state that the roads melting has nothing to do with Yellowstone supposedly erupting soon. This isn't some doomsday sign, it's just a reality of the land here. Much like shifting land and earthquakes are in other countries. The phenomenon occurring here is called asphalt deflection. And it's been known to occur here for decades. It basically means the ground here rejects asphalt. The abundant hydrothermal activity makes the surrounding ground pretty damn hot. And laying asphalt directly onto a hot surface like this is a recipe for damage to occur. Especially during summer, when the thin strip of asphalt that is the road would essentially be baked from beneath by the hydrothermal water and from above by the hot sun turning it into a semi-fluidic, rubbery consistency. If the road heats up substantially, the asphalt loses its solid consistency and actually begins to flow more like silly putty. This can lead to it sticking onto car tires and the road itself twists, warps and loses shape. Potholes form along with ripples and the road becomes unusable whilst hot. So if you're thinking of going to Yellowstone, maybe go there in the winter months, unless you want a memento from your visit there to be in the form of asphalt laden tires. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting or fascinating, then you're probably a little into earth science or science in general. I release new videos once a week, so consider subscribing. And if you'd like to help the channel out, the best way that you can contribute and make a huge difference is by sharing our videos around first and foremost, and by clicking the like button to let YouTube know we're doing something right. And you probably already know the typical closing YouTube drivel. Blah blah blah, click the bell icon, smash the bell icon, kiss the bell icon, all that stuff. But seriously, if you want to be notified for when this kind of content is released, then do whatever you want to the bell icon as long as it's advertiser friendly. And like always, I'll see you all real soon.